Okay, today I want to bring you a little bit of a different video in the Daddy Bravo series. This is uh, Fisher Price Snug a Bunny Swing, and it does not work. So today I want to show you guys how to fix these things when they go bad. Usually it's just a motor that goes bad, so I want to show you how to fix it. So here's the top of the swing. It's plugged in. Power it on. You can see when I turn it on, it does not swing. Every other function still works. The music, all the sounds, and the birds rotating. Everything else still works, but it doesn't swing back and forth. All right, so this swing isn't our normal swing. We have another Snuggle Bunny swing sitting right here. This swing we found on Craigslist. Uh, they were having a rummage sale. They had two swings. One was working for $60, and this one was posted for $15. That's not working. So I told her to offer $5 and they accepted the offer, no hesitation or anything on it. So we ended up getting this thing for five bucks and we should be able to fix it for about another five and have $10 into the swing. And then we can keep it if we want or we could probably easily flip it for 60 or $70. So let's get to it. So this version is an older version. We're gonna start by removing the screws that are on the bottom of the head here. This is older version, it has nine screws on the bottom where the newer versions only have seven. This is what the older version looks like. It has the, the button right here for the birds. And this is the newer version with the seven screws. It just has the Fisher Price logo and then the bird thing is right here. I'll start by using a Phillips head screwdriver and moving the screws. I took the screws out, I laid them out of the floor as they came out of the swing so I know exactly where they go. The newer version with the seven screws, they're all the same size so the placement isn't really as critical. But now the head's ready to come off. There's a bunch of wiring connecting this in here so don't rip it off too hard. I'm going to rotate this back, rotate it down, and then you're able to just hang it down there. Now that the cover is removed, to take these two screws out. This little plate comes off, but we need to move these out of the way too. These, these little fingers here are attached to the legs, so you need to swing the legs in to get these to come apart. So that comes apart when I turn the leg. I can take these two screws out. And this will come off. Watch out for the wiring here. That's underneath the wiring. So now that that's out of the way, you can stabilize the legs a little bit more. So next we have to pull this piece off because this piece connects into this little spring here and the spring is actually what drives the swing back and forth. And then the motor is inside this housing. Phillips head screws out, lift this up, and then this will just tuck back. After that's out of the way, you have three more Phillips head screws, and then this motor housing pops out. motors inside here and you can just lay this down a couple more screws I'm gonna pull these out first remove this spring Holding plate comes off, spring comes off. Three more screws. And then 
now we have the motor exposed. So this motor will just pop right out of here. And you can just cut it off and solder the new motor in. All right, so now we gotta get to the part of buying the motor. Where are we gonna get the motor? I'll show you where to get the motor. Walgreens. That's where I'll get the motor from. Okay, so you pick up one of these Glade or Airwick automatic air fresheners and you can see inside there's some little gears in there then you know that there's a motor inside that's actually running it. Pull it out of the box, open it up, it comes with batteries and just has four little screws here. Already loosen the screws up. This comes right apart and then there's your motor right in there. So disconnect that motor from this piece here and that's what you'll be putting back in. By taking the gear off the old motor, this just pulls and slides right off. Install it onto the new motor. So I think what we can do to test it, make sure that it's gonna work now, is hook this up and see if we can get this to spin. Make sure it's on. Turn the swing up. You can see that this is the old motor. It's not it's not doing anything right now. Now when I to connect the leads, you can see the motor starting to spin. Where this motor is not when it's still hooked up. So now when I put this motor on here, it'll be good. Alright, so I just went through now, cut the old motor off, spliced the wiring into the swing wiring. Now I'll go through and take these wires up. If you wanted to, you could solder and heat shrink. Uh, I'm leaving the, the diode and the capacitor off. When I've done it in the past, I haven't used it and it seems to work just fine. Okay, so assembly is going to be everything that we did before, but in reverse order. Throw your motor back in. So there's a little notch in the bottom. On the other side of the motor, there's a little notch that this needs to go in. This to set down on. Plate goes over the top. Sets back in. So there's three little teeth that line up in the teeth on here. Slides on. This goes over. Now some of these screws are all different sizes, so try to remember which ones they are when you're taking it apart. Should be good to slide back down in there. Three screws holding that on. Yeah, okay, bud. That's fine. Where I was in. Okay, now that the Motor housing is bolted in. Put this piece back on, but make sure the spring is lined up inside here, otherwise it's not going to work. When the spring goes back and forth, this moves the swing back and forth. So make sure that's installed. Right inside the middle there. And you have two more screws holding this down. tight. Motor goes back and forth. This rocks the swing. So now the only two pieces we have left 
And the two pieces we have left are the uh, plates. Put this plate in. Make sure we get it under the wire. And we will bring the legs together again until we can get this to drop down. Spread the legs apart again. screws it's really not that bad doing it one-handed with a baby okay so now that we're done doing that, we'll take it for a test drive. Just balance the top back on. Plug it back in. Power. And now we got a swing. So about 45 minutes to an hour worth of work and six dollars and then you got a working swing. Now the last step is just gonna be secure this down and put all the screws back in and then you're done.